Level 17, a help baby duckling drink water. So we've got ourselves an upset baby duckling, a puddle of water, a rock, and a bong. <laughs> Listen, baby duckling, you don't want to be drinking out of that dirty puddle, right? How about instead we get stoned? And not the right answer, but still a good rock joke. What's up guys, welcome to Brain Out, a game that I saw Matt Shea playing over on his channel and it seems like people really enjoy it. This isn't the kind of thing that I would normally stumble across, but after seeing a bit of it played, it looks like a really fun, frustrating little game. So I figured I would give it a try. Level 1, find the biggest one. So do they mean the biggest fruit or the biggest drawing of a fruit? Or the biggest number one, because technically this is level one. There is a one on screen, and it would be the biggest. A melon is bigger than an apple, but the drawing of the apple is bigger than the melon. If I get this wrong, do I get a game over? I should probably mention that I don't know a lot about the game. I'm getting impossible quiz flashbacks. I'm going to assume they mean the number one. No? They mean the melon? They mean the melon. Okay. Thank you, thank you. So the answers aren't full-blown stupid, but they're not at all what you would expect them to be. Level two, how many ducks? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten birds. Ten birds on screen, but that is not a duck. It's a chicken. <laughs> the answer is never what you think it is. So technically nine duck pictures. Do I include the word duck? because then it would be nine instead of 10, but then including the word ducks would bring it up to 10 again. I don't think they would do that because then people guessing wrong would guess right, so it's probably nine. Okay, you know what? After mental gymnastics like that, I deserve applause and a medal. Level three, who is the tallest one? <laughs> That is an amazing drawing of a gerbil. I'm just gonna say it right now. I relate to this guy on a spiritual level. <laughs> but this question is a problem. Right? Because both the figurative and literal answer is a giraffe. We get an actual giraffe and the drawing of the giraffe is tallest. But I really doubt the answer is giraffe. Of course not. So... Do I, like, not get dropped in a pit of snakes for getting it wrong? <laughs> I'm telling you, impossible quiz has scarred me for life. So, who... Uh, I'm confused. It wouldn't be an elephant. It wouldn't be a dog. It, it wouldn't be the gerbil. Oh. Of course. It would be the sun. So clever. Level 4. Can you find out the different one? Can you English? Good. These are the questions that we have to ask ourselves. So we've got six slices of watermelon, and they are all identical. What? They're all the exact same. Uh, can you find out the different one? Maybe that's good English, and it's some kind of clue? I am so lost. There's a one up here. No, no, no! I, I didn't want to use the key! I thought I might need to click on the one next to the key! You can move the watermelon. Okay! Thanks for the hot tip. Oh, I wasted a key. Are you kidding me? And it was underneath. Great. <laughs> that doesn't count! I was trying to play 4D chess with the answers when they were playing checkers. Level 5. Create a rectangle. How am I supposed to create a rectangle with a circle and a star and... I mean, maybe if I... no? What? Okay, we need to like get everything out of here and... What? You made it! I made what? Oh, I took the square and put it partially off screen, which then turned it into a rectangle. I totally meant to do that. <laughs> Level six, how many triangles are in a pentagram? Okay, are you asking me how many triangles are in a pentagram or how many triangles are in that? 
because that isn't a pentagram. <laughs> That's the kind of pentagram that a high school student would draw in a bathroom when he's clearly not in the right grade. This thing has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? Is the answer eleven? I'm gonna assume that it's eleven and that you don't want me to go look up a picture of an actual pentagram. Okay, good. Wow, you're a genius. You must praise Satan if you know this. It just struck me that I really hope I don't get stuck on any of these questions. Like, I I'm out of keys and yet I clearly have a whole lot more video to record. <laughs> Level seven, find out the largest fire. Okay, this one is clearly the largest, but I'm not gonna click on you as my answer. Maybe I need to stack them all. Oh, I figured that would be the largest fire. The more the merrier, just gonna have a, a great big tinder orgy. Level eight, what's the number under the parked car? So it goes eight, 15, 27, blank, 20. Eight, 15, 27, blank, 20. What? And then it goes down by seven between 27 and 20. Did I just move the car? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course I can. Uh, that, that's a good one. I actually like that one. That's clever. Level nine had us rate the game. So I told them their rating was under a parked car and they could guess what the number is. Level 10 has us wake up the owl. Can I shake your tree? Can I poke you? I screw with the sun. I don't think burning you with the sun is gonna really do anything. Oh, I would, I would want to get rid of the sun because owls are nocturnal. You have a genius brain. <laughs> this game is everything that I love in mobile games. It's funny, it's frustrating, it's got poor English. And level 11 is screwy math. Please write down the correct answer. One plus two is 21. Two plus three is 36. Three plus four is 43. And four plus five is what? Why do I have to come up with the correct answer when clearly no one else did? <laughs> so I would assume that four plus five must be 50. Five? Would that make sense? 55? No. It'd be 58? About 58. No. Is it, all the answers go two, three, four, and then I would assume five, so it's 50 something. And then it goes one, six, three. So I figured it would be five or eight. Could be. 54, but that, I swear to God, if this is nine, I'm gonna. Oh, uh, you really have to take a second to appreciate that this game just made a grown adult incorrectly answer four plus five multiple times in a row in front of hundreds of thousands of people. <laughs> Just the worst. Level 12, tap fruit from left to right, then tap the hexagon, circle, and rectangle. Oh, okay, uh, tap fruit from left to right. So, like this. Then tap the hexagon, circle, and rectangle. Am I missing something? Oh. They, they probably thought that I would think a potato is a fruit. Listen, I might not know that four plus five is nine, but I know that potato isn't fruits. <laughs> Level 13, you have to win the game. Zoe is X and you are O. And you have already botched this. She is gonna win next turn no matter what, unless... Nope. Can't move anything that's already been placed, so cheating is out of the question. Can I put a circle in a funny place or use one of these? Uh, I'm confused. 
Because if I go here, I lose. If I go here, I lose. Could I overwrite? No, I can't even overwrite one of yours. Mmm, I really regret using that key, figuring out the number one earlier. <gasps> oh, crap. I have tried every possible answer available to me multiple times. Nothing is working, but fortunately, this is not my first rodeo. I have played plenty of these stupid games in the past, and I know for a fact that if there is a level that I cannot get through, it's usually because I'm playing a mobile game on PC. I have a mouse cursor. I cannot pinch. I cannot poke. I can't press two buttons at once. Thank you. That deserves applause. Why do some of you have different colored sleeves? Who, who's watching me right now? Level 14, find the chick. Listen, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I will admit, I'm pretty good at picking up chicks. So we're just gonna pick up each of you and find the chick. Oh, this is embarrassing. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, thank God, that would have been really awkward. Level 15, find the darkest color on the screen. There's no way that it's one of these, right? It's not gonna be one of those darkish brown colors. It's probably supposed to be like the black of the words. Of course it is. Oh man, I, I, I like these games. I gotta say, thinking outside the box is dumb, but fun. Level 16, count the number of hairs. There is no way I'm supposed to count those hairs. Fortunately, he doesn't have that much hair, so I guess it's possible, right? So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 33. He's got 33 hairs on his head, and I swear if that's the wrong answer, then I am gonna have to slap those rosy cheeks or not i was close i just added one too many threes why can his hair just come off like that level 17 help baby duckling drink water so we've got ourselves an upset baby duckling a puddle of water a rock and a bong Listen, baby duckling, you don't want to be drinking out of that dirty puddle, right? How about instead, we get stoned? And not the right answer, but still a good rock joke. I clearly can't drag a puddle over to him, and he won't take the bong, so maybe I can drag him to the puddle? That was the answer. Why was that complicated? I'm confused. <laughs> I was so busy making a dumb joke that I never thought that the answer was super, super obvious. Level 18, can you solve this question? Uh, I'll take a toddler's scribbles for 500, Alex. What am I even looking at right now? Looks like 1 plus 0.7 plus 0.3 equals 2? It should be 2. I would assume that I'm supposed to like drag across the bottom to complete the number two, but I don't know if I'm being screwed by the emulator or if that's not the right answer. I can't enter the number two. Uh, can I borrow a line from one of you guys? Oh, there we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm playing this on super difficult mode because I don't know if I figure out the right answer or if I just supposed to be able to use my fingers. Level 19, find something you can eat. Uh, I recognize three of these things. We've got a clock, a bowl, and a bucket. I have no sweet clue what the two monstrosities on the bottom are. <laughs> that one on the right kind of looks like a moldy buttered potato and the one on the left looks like a dog footprint. Should I be eating either of these? I didn't mean for that to be my answer. I'm just trying to see if they're hiding something. What if I get the clock to pass time? No. I put you in the bucket. I put this in the in the bowl. Oh! Oh, when you combine the moldy potato and the dog footprint, 
then it's a steak? Maybe? That's the sign of a good quiz, okay? When you give the right answer, but you're not sure why, you know you've learned. <laughs> Level 20, animals are having a sport meeting. Bunny, monkey, and pony are racing now. Help bunny to win. Okay, well, let's just, uh, I was just gonna toss pony and monkey into space and be done with it, but uh, I, I, I can't touch any of them. Can I move? This? I can't move. I was thinking maybe I could pull the finishing line to be crooked so the bunny would cross it first, but no, and I can't touch. I can't touch anything. I seem to have no influence over anything on the screen, so let's just. Uh, no, no, bunny, 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 go, bunny. Huh. Do I need to give him steroids or something? I don't have bunny steroids. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. I'm supposed to hit go to make Bunny run, but at the same time, I need to be holding on the two animals to stop them from running, so I need three fingers. <laughs> I only have one mouse cursor. Okay, screw you, Bunny. You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Brain Out, guys. And this was a lot more fun than I would've expected. Honestly, it's like I said, I would usually not give these kind of games a second glance. I would just stumble across them and think, it's just some random, dumb mobile quiz game. You know, it's not action-packed enough. It's not entertaining enough for a video, but I had a blast. I feel like my jokes in this were a lot of fun. So if you guys wanna see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video, let me know, and then maybe I'll return to Probably skipped this entire monstrosity. I, I, I really need more keys. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.